Because several of my family members had come to Piedmont and they were uh, all English or sociology majors, um, that was my primary interest when I came to Piedmont and I started off thinking that I was going to be an English and history and philosophy major. When I took my first science class here at Piedmont, it was chemistry. I changed my major after two days to chemistry and that was that was it, I was, I was sold. While other liberal arts colleges offer um, the, the same Bachelor of Science degree that I received at Piedmont, um, in addition to, the, to the, the wide breadth of the liberal arts education, the science department at Piedmont taught me to be a very critical thinker and to approach science very rigorously, to, um, to use the proper statistical analysis and, the, and these very important key things to science that I, that I got at Piedmont that built a strong foundation for me going off um, to, an, to another university to get my PhD. Um, and that's something that I might not have gotten at another liberal arts college. It really gave me a, a great foundation for, you know, learning the basics of my field. But then, you know, I was still able to find opportunities for, you know, more advanced research at different universities. The science department at Piedmont um, really directed me to be um, a rigorous um, scientist, uh, to think about science from, from a um, very scientific perspective. One of the most important aspects of higher education is the opportunity for students to learn from practitioners of their craft. I don't consider myself to be a biology teacher. I'm a biologist. To that end, I have an active research program in which I can involve students through the mechanism of the Natural Sciences Honors Program. In this program, students actually spend their senior year conducting independent research projects under the direction of a faculty mentor. When I first visited Piedmont College, in the summer of 2008, there was a lake behind me. But when I came back to start working the next fall, the lake had been drained and there was nothing but mud flats as far as the eye could see. This has been a great opportunity for me as a scientist to be able to watch this system as it matures. And the faculty of the sciences have taken great advantage of this. We've incorporated the wetlands into our classes. We've had several students do senior research projects involving the wetlands. You also never know on your way to class you may come across the beaver paddling down the creek or something like that, which is just another great added value to your education here at Piedmont. My own research interest deals with the ecology and evolution of lungless salamanders and at Piedmont we're sitting at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, which just happen to be the rural center for salamander diversity. I can simply plug students into ongoing projects and or have them do a related project and a number of these projects have been published in national and international journals. Of course you don't have to do just salamanders, students can work on anything from organic chemistry projects to behavioral ecology projects depending on the faculty member with whom they work. But this gives our students a, an important advantage in applying to graduate schools or professional programs, everything from programs in veterinary medicine to PhD programs, and we actually have former students who are researchers at large universities. And this is who we are, this is what we do. We, we perceive our job not just to teach facts in classrooms, but to train scientists.